is Professor Ted from Ted, Ted, Ted Burns. Teddy Rash. Ted Portnor. Ted's Match Emporium. Ted's Inflatable Rat Factory. Ted's Egg Emporium. You're listening to The Ted Show. Ted's an ass. And then I got to say uh, hi to LeBron James and the Cavalier fans because uh, they beat the Nets 106-82. I'm paying attention here because LeBron James... Youngest person to score 11,000 points yep. in a in, game? In the NBA. Uh, <laughs> in the NBA. Who, who wow. held the record before LeBron James? Anyone? Wilt Anyone? Chamberlain. I'll guess Anyone? Uh, Anyone? Um, Think uh, like a little more current. Uh, Bradley. Jordan. Bill Bradley? Yeah. Dollar Bill? I'm just throwing yeah. it. Rick Barry. Rick Barry? <laughs> John Starks! We're talking when they started wearing their shorts. Uh, Larry Bird. Metal Lark Lemon. They were the best. The Globetrotters never lost, Gregory. They were the champions of the world. Of the world. You guys are thinking. I once I picked up a gum wrapper dropped by Curly Neal. <laughs> I framed it. It was a piece of Wrigley's. He liked Wrigley's? Curly was very fond of Wrigley's. <laughs> Ted the super fan, I guess, yes. huh? Ted the Globetrotter uh, fanatic. Yeah, we're talking to Ted the... He takes it so seriously <laughs> yeah. every time the he goes. champions of the world, Daniel. Hope, Look it up. I bet he hopes they win. Like, he goes and like, yeah. ooh, I hope they win this time. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever sweated out a game? Well, I certainly have. Yeah. Sometimes another team will come within 40, and I begin to panic. <laughs> But if you're a there was a string on the ball. <laughs> Metal Lark threw it and came back to him. <laughs> the man is magical. How is that allowed? I don't know. But if you're a super fan, you should know who they play every time. Yes, but I'm too busy yelling, go Metal Lark and go Curly. You don't notice they play the exact same team every every single time? No, they don't. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> you had the Washington Generals. That's not yes. the truth. <laughs> they beat the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> they beat the Bulls. They did so. With with what? Michael Jordan? Steve Jordan was one of the greatest ball players of all time. And the Metal Arch scored 13 points one game. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here they go. Wow, it's just amazing. What about the, the pail of water? But it's not water. It turns out to be what? There, oh, Gregory, I was so scared one time. time I was in front with an American flag in my Globetrotters hat. Yeah. And Curly Neal threw a, a, a bucket of confetti at me. You thought it was going to be water, right? Yes, I tried drinking it. <laughs> you can't drink confetti, though. I know. No. There was another fire that David. went undefeated. Another fighter went undefeated, according to Booby Man. Uh, there was a boxer, Booby Man. Vicky Lamata. Uh, <laughs> well, close. Uh, Ted Ted the boxer was also undefeated. Ah, well. Yes, I was. <laughs> People always overlook me because I only fought outside of the ring, and I fought women and older people. <laughs> but I was Ooh. undefeated. <laughs> I fought a man one time for 17 rounds. 17, 17 man. Yes, he was an invalid. <laughs> I worked in a hospice. I would walk in and punch his face and throw my arms above my head in victory and walk out. I box, but not professionally. Oh. Yes. So you would just box the infirm? I certainly would. <laughs> I loved my hospital job. I would hit cadavers and those who could not fight back or speak for themselves. What's your, uh, what was your record? Undefeated. Oh, okay. Except one time I slipped in shit running out of somebody's room. <laughs> So I guess that was a draw. <laughs> uh, Ted the Boxer. Yeah. Ted. Ted the Boxer doesn't take any gunk. No, he doesn't. That's right. And one time I, I, I pushed Adrian down when she was pregnant onto a bag of pet food. <laughs> Good for you. Yes. <laughs> And I punched Mickey after Clubber Lang scared him to death. I hit him because he came to my hospital. <laughs> oh, they brought him there? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I went and I punched him in the face because I didn't like him in the Batman series. He frightened me. <laughs> frightened. Uh, what else frightens you? Oh, a lot of things do. Ghosts. <laughs> No. I didn't like the way that Bernard Hopkins stared at me. That was very unpleasant. I was about to say some shit. <laughs> oh, were you? Yes. What were you going to say to him? Uh, goodbye. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Ted is a chicken shit. <laughs> <laughs> he beats up on the sickly yeah, and the dead. Does. 
Nothing gets my blood boiling like when I see somebody really old who can't move below the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Time to kick ass to the same Ted, is it true you like to fight? Is it true you like to fight old ladies coming out of elevators? I love it. <laughs> That's right. I point at something in which he looks, I uppercut the bitch. <laughs> You like removing hats, don't you? I certainly do. I'll watch Hopkins videos and act those things out with much older people. <laughs> I don't like people my age because they hit hard. <laughs> he, he's Stein serious? Is a, such what a, an idiot. What an out-of-touch douche. Uh, he's know? a fuddy-duddy. <laughs> Does this guy know how to have fun? No. No, his kid did. He's, he's yeah. <laughs> That's why he was playing EverQuest. He wanted to escape that bore. Oh, any fantasy world would be having to live with that guy. I'd rather go bark hunting by myself. I want to build a a bark machine for EverQuest. <laughs> Whatever the queers do on that dumb game. Ugh. I'm dragon slaying. Shut up. You have to not. You have to make elixirs. Quiet nerd. Yes, I have to make a potion. You have to make an elixir. Yeah. I have to pick weeds and squeeze them into a potion so I can shut up. <laughs> shut up. What? People you enjoy dork? their video games, Ted. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ted. 45 minutes gathering tools. <laughs> and such. In case I happen upon a dragon. <laughs> Did he say tools and such? I have... I, I, I'm getting some tools and such in case I happen upon <laughs> a dragon or a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> what are you in uh, EverQuest, Ted? Huh? Do you play this EverQuest, Ted? <laughs> I don't! No? You don't like to gather tools and I such? don't like it. I was trying to build an amusement park and a dragon slew me. <laughs> <laughs> amusement park? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ted's World of Fun, I was going to call it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then a dragon slew him. <laughs> yes. Uh, you played that. You liked that game. Oh, I played it for years. Still got the character. And what's his name? Still pay. Still pay for the character. What do you mean you pay month. for the? You have to pay to keep. Well, the you got to pay to yeah keep your guy. And what's his name? Your character. Oh, God, I forgot. I haven't played in so long. Keith's been uh, you know Wait, leveling I, him up. Can I jump in here? Anthony played the game for years and then discovered girls at his age. <laughs> well, so he said, like after, weird, after like, this ever quest. It's like weird science. <laughs> well, I was kind of married, you know? Yeah. And that kind of started the whole thing. And yeah, oh, sure, you were playing while you were married. Ca caused some problems, no. you know? Because I'd rather come home and play the video game than have sex. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't play anymore. I don't ever see you. Never... I'm barely on the I would computer be... anymore. Good for you. You're right. Yeah. What would you do? Gather, like, things? I would. Gather things. Yes, I, you'd have to um, gather certain things and then uh, put them in machines. And based on your skill level, it would either uh, fail and you would lose like some of your stuff that you added in, or it would succeed and make your little elixir. And then you can go to the to the uh, bazaar area and sell it uh, for platinum and gold. But does it I spent six months gathering kindling and fruit roll-ups. <laughs> For what? <laughs> to build a fruit roll-up emporium. Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Ted. Ted Williams. Yeah. <laughs> I like to hit the old baseball every now and again. <laughs> Unlike my friend Jolt Joe, who likes to hit the old baseball when his wife is holding it in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to dip his fist in a Mr. Coffee and belt that mouthy snot. <laughs> One of the baseball players, you know, allegedly loving beating yeah. those wives of theirs. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I called her Jolt. Called him Jolt and Joe. <laughs> yeah, how did Jolt her all right? He sure would. He Jolt her right out of a Demerol dose. <laughs> Hit her in the face with a Mr. Coffee Pot. Yeah. <laughs> uh. This guy's sister had bed bugs so bad she had to keep her clothes in uh, plastic bags. But how do you how do you know that the bed bugs aren't your in the plastic bag? Right. Why don't you just sleep in a plastic bag? It's quite clear. <laughs> Zip it closed. Bed bugs make you itch like a madman. A lot of phone calls coming in. Do uh, you know where I had bed bugs when I was growing up, and I never knew where they were hiding? Uh, where, Ted? In my hat. In your hat? Yes. Hat bugs? I thought there was just little black speckles, which made it a fancy hat. <laughs> they were bed bugs. <laughs> Are they hat bugs then? Yes, no. Yes, no. I would sleep on my hat. <laughs> <laughs>
You're listening to the Ted Show. I'm Ted the Well Watcher. <laughs> I'm Ted Hitler. I'm Ted Hitler Jones. The Ted the Jones part of the good part. <laughs> Dear Corinthian. Hi, Corinthian Ted again. <laughs> I'm Ted the Bad Question. <laughs> Ted. Dr. Ted Kako in studio today. Did you understand? And that's the big thing that happened. How loud that would be. What <laughs> <laughs> <Her> are dreams? <laughs> I'm Ted the Rich Boss. <laughs> I'm Ted the Rabbit Tooth Jew. <laughs> I'm Ted Sullivan Maker. Oh. I'm Ted, I don't know what I'm doing. 